hasn't called you and you're forfeiting them blessings of God just because of pride and to try to act like the Joneses. I'd rather live in a haystack, drink branch water and eat salty crackers and stay in the call of God than to have chicken three times a day and live in a palace and have to miss the things that I want. Thank on your way as you go. Hallelujah. Yes, he's God. Thank as I thought on my ways. What are you going to be, pretty little miss, tonight? Out here somewhere, cheeks all painted up. Think you're something. One of these days, that little farm of yours will rot and mold in the ground. Where's that soul going to be then? Think on your ways. What about you know it all? You men and women that thinks you're smarter than somebody else. Did you know God made the gospel so plain that even a fool shouldn't have? Think on your ways. Think about Jesus Christ who was called a crazy man to bring this message of salvation to you. Think of the apostles that seal their testimony and come out of all kinds of big churches and was called heretics. Are you better than they? No, never by a million miles. You're not better than they. Think on your ways and turn your feet to Calvary. It's the only remedy that God has for salvation is through Calvary. Only thing that he has. It was Peter, when he heard the rooster crow three times, that he thought on his ways. For Jesus Christ had told him that a, such a thing would happen. And when he seen the thing that Jesus promised come to pass, 
He thought on his ways. And he went out and wept bitterly. There's some of you here tonight. And maybe on the grounds. Some of these people who think this is a bunch of holy rollers. Who thinks that the salvation of God is a fanaticism. And you see come to pass, night after night, the very thing that our Lord said. There'd be a sign given. It's possible that I'll go away. And I'll send the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. When He comes, He'll testify of me. And in the last days, the sign of Sodom will appear. Take on your ways while you look and see what Jesus said. As it was in the days of Sodom, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And you see homosexual on the increase. You see the signs appearing. You see the angel of the Lord, the same one as that Sodom, right among us tonight working. He's called the Holy Ghost. The one that Jesus sent in his place. Jesus can't be here in body form, but he sent the Holy Ghost to take his place. To do the same works that he did. Think on your self-style ways. Think on that bunch of creeds that you're serving in instead of serving the real living God. Except a man be born again, he'll in no eyes see the kingdom of God. Amen. Think on your ways. Oh, you might be a doctor of divinity. I don't know what you are. But if you're lost, you better think on your ways. For there's a time coming. It was when the high priest counted out the 30 pieces of silver to Judas. When he heard the ringing of that silver, Judas thought on his ways. And he went and took a rope and hung himself. It was a Roman soldier that when he had stood there and seen the sun go down in the middle of the day, he saw the rocks ring out of the mountains. He heard one say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He had pressed his spear into his heart and seen the water and blood flow out. When he seen that, he began to think on his ways. And he fell on his face and screamed and said, Truly, that is the Son of God. Right. Begin to think on his ways when he'd seen what he had done. You think of what you've done. Look at the evil. Look how you've put off Christ. You've intended to be a real Christian. You've intended to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You've intended someday, but your intention will never get you there. Hell's paved with good intentions. Brother, when you think on your ways, do the same thing the Roman soldier did. Cry out to God and say, truly, he is the Son of God. And I'll turn my feet to his testimonies. I'll live for him who dies for me. As you see the Holy Spirit moving, working great signs and wonders, think on your ways. When you see the last sign that God said would take place as Sodom was before it was destroyed, when you see that, think on your ways. Think of what you're doing. If you are a Christian, think the life you're living. Are you living above reproach? Reproach. Are you doing the things that pleases God? Have your heart no condemnation. If you're a sinner, quiver under the power of God and come to the altar. If you're thinking on your ways while I've been preaching, if God has convicted you that you're wrong, then I can tell you one thing. I can introduce you to something at here tonight. For there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Where sinners plunge beneath the flood, lose all their guilty stain. That dying thief rejoiced to see that fountain in his day after he had seen the sign that he was the Son of God. There may I, though vile as he, washed all my sins away. Ever since by faith I saw that stream, thy flowing wounds supplied, redeeming love has been my theme and shall be till I die. And in an over sweeter song, I'll sing thy power to save when this poor lispering stammering tongue lies silent in the grave. Oh my, there's room at the fountain for every one of you. Think on your ways and remember while you're in your right mind. While you're here tonight, think on your ways and accept Jesus Christ while we pray.
His mighty power and His grace. Yeah, yeah. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each bed. Oh, surely the
Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Ra, Jehovah Rapha. 